Here in Crystal Palace in South London, you can still see the first dinosaur exhibition that was ever built anywhere in the world. The sculptures were unveiled in 1854. It was the start of an obsession that we've never got over. But it wasn't long before the science behind these reconstructions had lost credibility. Even by the end of the 19th century, our ideas about dinosaurs had changed so much that these models were already looked upon with scorn. This megalosaurus, for instance, is shown walking on all four legs, but we now know he would have been bipedal. He would have stood on just his hind legs and his forelegs would have been quite small and lifted right up off the ground. When the first iguanodon was discovered, only one thumb bone was found, so paleontologists thought it must have been a horn. But iguanodon didn't have a horn. It's very easy to walk amongst these massive models and to laugh at the 19th century idea of what a dinosaur was like. We now know so much more. We've worked out a phenomenal amount about the dinosaurs. But how have we done that? How do you start to get close to animals that lived hundreds of millions of years ago? From 19th century London to 21st century Los Angeles. 150 years after the first ever dinosaur exhibition, I want to know how we can be sure that we're now getting it right. So I've come to LA's Museum of Natural History. The museum is undergoing major redevelopment at the moment and at the centre of it all is a multi-million dollar new dinosaur exhibit. Luis Chiappe is director of the museum's Dinosaur Institute and curator of the new exhibition. Hello, Luis. How Hello. Are you? I'm very well. Nice to meet you. Likewise. He'll be packing the exhibition with everything we know about dinosaurs, from the biggest to the smallest, with the latest science on how they looked, moved, and interacted. So beyond the fact that the exhibition is obviously about dinosaurs, what's the idea behind it? It's really how do we know what we know about dinosaurs. So you're not just presenting facts to people, you're actually showing how you got to that knowledge. Yes, how do we translate the evidence that we find in, in, in the field into scientific knowledge? So can I get a sneak preview? Sure, of course. Yeah. Yes. Our knowledge of dinosaurs has been transformed over recent years. And that means that when it opens, Luis's exhibition will aim to be the most scientifically accurate representation of dinosaurs ever. The science will be brought to life by a wide and varied cast of dinosaurs. But right now, the exhibition hall is a building site. We are approaching the centerpiece of the exhibit, a large platform that will support three Tyrannosaurus rex, what we call a gross series of Tyrannosaurus rex. Because a complete T-Rex skeleton has never been found, Luis's team will have to reconstruct the missing bones. Then he'll have to choose poses that reflect the latest scientific thinking on how these animals stood and moved. And with three T-Rexes on a single platform, he'll even be considering how they interacted. All this for animals that went extinct 65 million years ago. 